TitleMatchNetwork.com. Well, of course, Big Gordy. You know, Gordy was the, one of the toughest guys I've ever met. He was a legit tough, tough street. Of course, he broke into business. He was 14 years old, and he broke into business. And, and he, like I said, he was 6'5", 300 pounds. And he could take a punch. I mean, I've seen him have a few, the big jack. He wouldn't want to spill his jack. I mean, he'd have an argument with the guy. And the guy they go, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, take your best shot. Boom, 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 boom. Guy hit him about four or five times before Gordy cut the drink down. <laughs> oh, okay. Boom, bye, I, I bet, you know. But yeah, Big Gordy and I had trouble one night with a, uh, it's a long story there. We won't go into that because I think the statute of limitations may not be up. <laughs> but anyway, I had a little trouble in the restroom with this dude one night, man. I, I worked him over pretty good as the guy was sliding down. Gordy grabbed him because you know once you get blowing, you get blowing. He's had enough, he's had enough. And poor Vince, not that I remember you, Vince. <laughs> but Vince goes, he's fighting back, go get him! <laughs> well, he was a good friend. He was wide open. And of course, back then they couldn't sue you. <laughs> well, they didn't sue you. you know, that's the deal. You're always a phony wrestler until you go to court. <laughs> then it goes like this, 10, 20, 30,000, you know. And if you meet a hundred people, 99 of them are cool, they're respectful, and you always got that one guy, hey, aren't you one of those phony wrestlers? You look bigger on TV, I bet I can beat you arm wrestling. Of course, back when I knew Gordy, we were drinking the Jack, you know, old number seven, we are like, okay, brother, go ahead, take your best shot, baby. Come on, there, what the hell is that? Hold it down over there! <laughs> You might want to stick the deal back up, huh? I bet the glare is bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll be right with you, folks. Um, what were your initial th th uh, thoughts when the Freebirds came in? To? To UWF. I thought it was great, man. It was good to see Big Gordy again. I got along with Michael. Buddy is the worst drunk you'd ever <laughs> in your life. But uh, it was good to see those boys. They were a lot of fun, and there was there was people, very few guys I traveled with in the business, and uh, those were one of the few guys I traveled with. Okay. Did the did the what kind of effect did the Freebirds have in the locker room? Because obviously they came right. They're in disruptive. The yeah, they're like knobs and sags in the dressing room. You know, they're loud, loud and obnoxious, and they screw with people. And if you, as long as you're not the object of their attention, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Was there any jealousy towards them since they came in and just started getting this big push and they're like, No, because they carried the ball. So it's not like they gave them the push and they were, you know, stumbling. I mean, the birds came in and they were drawn. Okay. If it wasn't for um, his drug problems, do you think Terry Gordy could have been like a top guy in WWF or WCW? I think Gordy would have been one of the top guys. He's been like a Bruiser Brody type character. Uh, and he was in Japan. Of course, he never came out of the deal in Japan, which killed Von Erich too. Japan's tough. Uh, the business, of course, back then they don't have the travel schedule they have nowadays. You know, I worked 60 days straight with WWF, and that wasn't a whole lot. Guys like Piper and Jake were many, many more. Uh, when you're flying all the time, you know, you, you have to take a couple sleeping pills to get there, a couple uppers, to, you know. And, and Japan, it's the, one of the few places, it's the only time in my life that I crossed off days on the calendar when I went to Japan. I went over there for four weeks. I was like, that last week, I was like, how oh, many more days? <laughs> I thought, yeah. It's tough. You're on a bus a lot. And you're not, all, you know, you're in Tokyo and Osaka once in a while. That's great. You know, you got an English style right. hotel, you know, with regular bed, you know, a regular bathroom, which is important in Japan. You know, and then all of a sudden you're in some little nickel and dime town where you can touch both walls of the room, your bed's this small, your pillow's made of rice. I mean, what are you having for dinner? Fish heads. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually going to ask you that later. Why didn't you go to Japan more often? You just hated it over there? Didn't like Japan. And my character doesn't fit well with Japan. Yeah. yeah the whole the USA, the whole gimmick, yeah. It did uh, before WWF, but not too much after. Titlematchnetwork.com